so I'm here to talk about this hair that I have in today. I'm rocking Peerless hair. I have the Peruvian straight. I have four bundles. I have an 18-inch closure and three 20-inch bundles in. Um, I fit every single one in my head. Cur currently, I have it curly right now because I wand curled it. But yeah, I've had this hair for six months now. I got it back in March and been wearing it ever since then. Um, this hair is amazing. So I want to talk about all the pros first and then the only one con that I have. So the pros. This hair really doesn't shed. Like, doesn't shed at all. I would not lie. I know YouTubers be talking about it don't it be shedding um, or it doesn't be shedding. I spent $300 on this hair. This hair does not shed. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But yeah, this hair doesn't shed. It doesn't tangle. It also holds up a curl. This is straight hair. When I got it out the pack, it literally was like bone straight. I meant to make a video back then, but I didn't even have my YouTube channel back then. But yes, so the hair came in like a um, clear package. It had peerless on the front. It was kind of like a makeup bag. It was really nice, really nice packaging. Um, it didn't take but five days to ship to me, so that was good. You know, I hate long shipping. It didn't take that long. Um, the people are very professional. They make sure that you got the hair. They email you and check on you. Um, any questions that you might have, they will answer them. Also, hair holds any kind of style that you want it to. So like I said, it was straight hair. I have it in wand curls right now. I also just bleached it. This is how it takes bleach. I only bleached it once. Um, and this is how it looks. It does have like different color blonde in it so like this one is blonde I don't know if you can see it and then I have some pieces that are kind of reddish like a dark brown I like it it works for me um, that was the purpose of this video was to um, show you show you guys how I dyed it ombre as well um, but yeah I wanted to just talk about the hair as well so peerless is amazing so no shedding no tangling it takes bleach um, and even after when I wash it, it doesn't shed. When I wash it, like when I um, combing the conditioner through, it does not shed. When I bleached it, it didn't get all matted at the ends. They're still very soft, very, very soft hair. Um, now, my only con for the hair is how much it costs. I love me some cheap weave, but it don't be having the quality. So, hey, quality over quantity because this hair is what's up. So, it cost me about $300. It was like $280 something. Um, $300 for this hair. I don't regret it. Money well spent. I've been in obstacle courses with this hair. Um, water with this hair. Sweat. Everything. But this hair be getting, getting, getting me, it be having me cute. Having me cute. So this is going to be my fall hair that I'm going to rock. I definitely think that everybody, that everybody should get this hair. Um, but yeah, everything is good. Quality good. I did cut layers into it. I was just doing my little thing. I was just trying to be a um, beautician. I cut some layers in it. And this is how it looks. It comes through amazingly. The closure is good. The closure hasn't thinned out on me. I know some people's closure thins out. Mine hasn't. It's still thick. Um, but yeah, this is how long it is. Let me stand up. And this is with it curled, with it wand curled. So, pretty great length. Turn around. So, yeah. I like my ensemble. I got a cute little dress on or whatever. But, yeah, so get you some hair from Peerless. I definitely appreciate them. Um, and, yeah, watch my next videos that I post. Thank you guys for watching this video. And enjoy y'all's day. All right, so you want to get your aluminum foil sheets together. I'm using the Collider Colors from Clairol Bleaching Powder. I'm also using their 40 Volume Developer from the same company. Get a bowl and some silicone brushes. You can use the regular hair brushes as well. Um, I'd rather have used those. I put four scoops of the Collider Colors powder into the bowl. And then I'm going to take the 40 Volume Developer and mix it in. You want to keep putting as much as you want until you get about a creamy consistency not super pasty but not super creamy so kind of like cake batter all right so go ahead and just comb your hair out get it nice and untangled and then you're going to go ahead and start the bleaching process
So I section the hair off into little sections. I go starting with the nape first, and I just did it in three sections, starting from the bottom of the hair, moving up to the top with my bleach. When you do the bleaching, you want to take the brush and turn it to where it is sideways so that you're getting it from the front to the back of the hair where you're touching the aluminum foil. You don't want to just flat brush it. You want to kind of like stroke it through the hair so it can get all over the hair because I didn't um, flip the hair to bleach the back. I just stroked it through. When you get to the top where you want the ombre to start to fade into the black, you just feather it out. So you do little stripes across the top to where it's not a straight line. You just make it uneven so that it looks blended. You definitely want to use gloves when you're doing this. I didn't have any gloves and I wasn't thinking, but my fingers did start to burn. So please get you some gloves when you do this because your hands will start to burn. So you're going to see me put on some trash bags on my hand. You're going to see me do all of that, but it's because my hands have started to burn doing this without gloves. So you're going to take one of your aluminum foil sheets, you put it underneath the hair, and you put the other aluminum foil sheet on the top of the hair, and you just fold the sides, the edges, so that it can stay. And that's going to help the process lighten better. When you don't have the aluminum foil sheets on, it doesn't, it doesn't get lighter from what I noticed when doing this. So just keep doing the same thing over and over, um, feathering it until you get to where you want to get to all throughout the head. And you just keep folding your aluminum foil over. And then you, I left it on for about 45 minutes after I finished the whole head. And then I went and washed it out. So it's been 45 minutes. I'm about to wash it with the Equate Beauty Blonde and Silver. It helps to take the bronze out of the blonde, even though mine stay a little bit bronze, but it'll help take it out. Once you finish washing that with that shampoo, you can use regular shampoo and conditioner. And I put it under the dryer just so that my wig cap could dry out. After that, I blow dry the hair until I can get it as bone straight as possible. And that's going to help me style it better with my wand curl. So yeah, you just blow dry it all the way out. After you blow dry it, you're going to go ahead and get your hair ready to get straightened or whatever style you want to do. So I'll put a heat protectant on. Um, this is just by Fruitis, Garnier Fruitis, a flat iron protector. So I spray that all over the hair. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the sectioning. I make it into little sections and I'm going to take my wand curler and I'm going to wand curl each section for about 10 to 15 seconds. That's how, how long I left it on the hair. Um, you don't have to wand curl it, but that's how I did to achieve the style that I had in my video.
So that's all the steps that I did for this hairstyle. Thank you guys for watching my videos and continue to watch my videos from the future. You guys have a great day.